and today I want to talk to you about how you too can social engineer your child through Minecraft. <laughs> so first off, this is not a presentation for any kind of parents. There are some parents that are not going to be interested in this. For instance, if you uh, want your child to be happy and you're fine with that, or if you're fine with your child becoming an artist or operating a BNB in Maine, this is not a presentation for you. I'm looking for uh, tiger mothers and tiger fathers for this presentation. <laughs> so this is a child in question. She's nine. Uh, you can see her now uh, involved in uh, some uh, uneducational, non-productive activity. And that is not going to, I'm not going to allow this to continue, but thankfully, <laughs> She loves Minecraft, and that's great. So this is Minecraft. This is how it starts. You are dropped into a world with nothing except your hand. That's your hand on the side there. And you find a tree, and you chop it up. You make uh, planks of wood and sticks. With that, you make uh, pickaxes. You mine for rocks. You uh, build houses. Sometimes you fight zombies, but mostly you build houses. And um, bigger and bigger houses. So it's, not, it's uh, not surprising that when I ask my, my daughter what she thinks she's learning from Minecraft, she says, hmm, wood is important? Uh, but of course, there's much more to learn from this, uh, this sand, uh, uh, this, I forgot what it's called, but <laughs> this, this game that doesn't really have a goal. Uh, but there are, there's real knowledge to be gained from Minecraft. And for instance, there's something called redstone uh, in Minecraft that stands for electricity. You can actually build circuits. Um, it's also, obviously, it fosters creativity. So for instance, if you want to decorate your house with a pit of severed heads, like my, my daughter did, <laughs> you can. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Minecraft also fosters flexibility. So this is a study done in Sweden about um, how kids who play with Minecraft are very apt uh, to ch scratch their plans when they discover new resources or new tricks in the world. So for instance, these kids wanted to, to uh, uh, build a village, but they, they changed their plans uh, when they discovered that they could carry water in buckets, and they, instead they did uh, water slides. <laughs> but uh, creativity and flexibility are low-hanging fruits uh, educationally. These are the character traits that I want my daughter to have. These are the keep school say this leads to success. So does Minecraft help me with this? So uh, for instance, there's the problem of the tree house. So my daughter builds giant houses on top of tiny little trees, and she knows enough physics to know it's not possible in real life. So what's the point? So I called Katie Salen. And I asked her that, and she said, yeah, it, it does seem that building impossible architecture would be a waste of time. But what really happens is that when the kid then goes out in the streets, finds a tree, uh, will look at the tree and starts asking questions, like, well, could I put a, a house on that tree? Why not? What would I need to change to actually make it happen? And that puts the kid into a mindset of problem solving, and that's really valuable. And OK, but there was another, there's another thing that I wanted to teach my kid through Minecraft, and it's to be brave. And it says on the website, brave players. Uh, but my daughter, when she plays in Minecraft, she's very risk averse. She avoids any kind of risk. She doesn't fight the zombies, right? Uh, so I asked Katie, because I had her on the phone, and she said, uh, well, bravery really is grit and perseverance. And you can cultivate that by uh, setting yourself uh, challenges and achieving them, and then sharing the results on a platform like DIY to get peer feedback uh, or parents' feedback. And that's really important because that's your reward. And the kid will be more uh, uh, amenable to taking risks if there's a reward. And that's my favorite part of Minecraft, is that uh, we talk a lot about what's going on inside the, her Minecraft wor world, and we uh, research ways to do things together on YouTube, and we bond over it. So uh, these are the, the things that Minecraft can teach, and it's not really that much different from my original list, and it's not so bad for a simple video game. And so now, the only thing that I have to worry about is how to handle the pit of severed heads. <laughs> Thank you.